Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is another come shopping with me vlog and I'm actually spending the afternoon mooching around a few stores which I've honestly wanted to look around ever since that I've seen their Christmas stock has finally come out. So today is the day and I'm going to head, I believe, to Primark Home, Poundland and I'm also going to do some charity shopping because I've heard that charity shops are also releasing and bringing out some festive Christmas stock. So I want to try and get my hands on some good old bargains so I think those are the three stores that I'm going to go to today and hopefully at the end of this video there will also be a haul which I'll kind of show you guys what I picked up today if I actually pick up anything. Some days for me when I go shopping are really really successful, other days are not so successful. Fingers crossed hopefully because the sun is shining, I feel and look fabulous I'm hoping that the shopping gods are with me and on my side and I'm like you know what you deserve some festive exciting products to come home and show the camera I am going to head out now but of course before I go out I thought I would give you a good old classic Jamie OOTD it's such a beautiful day today guys it's like sunny no clouds in the sky beautiful blue skies I'll show you when we're outside um but it's so cold like it's three degrees when I woke up three degrees i'm sorry is it about to snow ho 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 yes it is snow is falling do 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 all around me and of course because it's so cold i thought i would layer up dress up for the winter and oh my god i have missed wearing this coat so if you guys are new to my channel then i bought this coat from zara 150 pounds it cost me an arm and a leg but do you know what i was due a nice new coat coats are one of those things for me that i would rather spend more money on buying because i need a coat to feel cozy warm I need it to keep me wrapped up and warm so I don't get ill in the winter time but I also need it to be versatile to go with lots of looks and to just look and feel amazing so I did spend 150 pounds on this coat from Zara I bought it last year I believe that they've got some very very similar if they do have any similar ones in Zara this year I'll leave it linked in the description box below I'm obsessed I'm literally obsessed basically like a giant a giant duvet a giant dressing gown oh my god and then I'm just wearing it with my cute little Dr Martin's bag there I'm also wearing my classic orange converse which I literally wear every day just some standard tapered black jeans with a black belt with a black roll neck. I know, very not Jamie. Jamie never wears all black, but here I am. I look like a character from Men in Black wearing all black. And over it, I just have this gorgeous, um, again from Zara actually. Oh my God, and my roll neck's from Zara, but it's from a charity shop, Zara. It's just this cream shack it you can actually still shop it so i'll leave that in the description box below as well i'm also going to the theater tonight with megan we are going to see heathers which i'm so so excited about hence why i look a little bit more dressy than normal and also guys i haven't been outside the house in a few days i think two or three days so i'm feeling a little bit cooped up i'm feeling like i just need to get some fresh air have a nice coffee and just have a good old mooch because the weather's calling for it i'm calling for it my soul is like jamie get me outside so without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and today's come shopping with me and let's go hit up the shop christmas lights are all around i can see them now it's like they spell your name lovelies so i have just finished popping in a few charity shops which i love to go to they're literally in like a strip so it's just one after the other and i've always really enjoyed um having a mooch in those so if you're interested west Hampstead in london they're my kind of go-to charity shops because there's like four in a row unfortunately today there wasn't anything that really tickled my fancy i thought that the christmas stock was a little lackluster i've seen a lot of um kind of vlogs on youtube and i've had a lot of people say that christmas stock has 
has kind of been released in their charity shops recently. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. There was definitely dribs and drabs, which I tried to get into the video. And a lot of the charity shops actually had their own Christmassy stock, which they were selling. Um, but it was actually kind of quite expensive given the fact that it was still a charity shop. But you know, that was okay. Um, I still didn't pick anything up, but I'm still very, very happy. Oh my God, look at the remnants of Halloween. <laughs> I'm sure that they'll bring out more festive Christmassy products and bits closer to the time because I do have to tell myself Jamie it is literally the first week of November calm down as you can tell it's getting super super dark so the time is only four o'clock but because last weekend the clocks went oh this is gonna confuse me the clocks went back oh no full back spring forward so yeah the clocks went back which means that we gained an extra hour in bed so because of that it now gets darker an hour earlier this vlog will get dark very very soon so i just want to prepare everyone so i'm now going to head to a cheeky little pound land and hopefully they'll have all of their christmasy bits out evening my lovelies so i'm having to stand under a street lamp because it is incredibly dark and it's literally six o'clock in the evening i literally cannot believe how incredibly dark it is right now um but i suppose that's what comes with the incredible christmasy festive month so i hope you enjoyed that little come shop with me i do have my reusable bag filled with lots of goodies which i did pick up so i will be doing a mini haul now i am currently on my way to see megan kyle because excitingly we are going to see Heathers the musical this evening and I I cannot wait Heathers is one of my favorite musicals to be fair I say that about most musicals I'm like oh I want to be on stage with them so I'm currently on my way now to go and see them it has got incredibly cold I don't know whether you can see with my breath 
Oh my god, no, I need to get in the I need to get in the dark. <gasps> you can literally see how cold it is from my breath. So enjoy the rest of the vlog and then of course if you're interested in what obviously I picked up in the come shopping with me vlog then stay tuned to the end. Hello beauties. Oh, here it is. You, you can have the remnants of my caramel hot chocolate. <gasps> I do want a hot chocolate. You deserve it after oh, today. Hi, Jamie's vlog. Megan's taking over. We, have you told them where we're going? Uh, maybe. What we're doing. We're going to see yeah, we've gained, we've gained another friend. This is Liv. She's chatting. And then... What's this? <laughs> What's that? This is Jamie's camera. <gasps> oh, why am I looking? Do I need to look into there? You can yeah. look into the main lens, but you can oh, just no. check yourself out in the top lens. Beautiful. Look, gorgeous. Stunning. This is Liv. I went to uni with Liv. Hello, and Jamie met Liv at the weekend. I did. We did. Well, yeah, for the first time. Met because I honestly don't remember half No, of I don't remember half of it. I'm really glad to say that. <laughs> I thought you were going to be late. I thought I was going to be late. I, I thought it was 10 minutes. Late. But I was on like, time. Oh. You were. But you're always late. And I'm always um, late. Yeah, no, but that's why we work. Then, there's days when we want to be super early. And then we're like productive, yes. I've been so productive today. Yeah, you've been a productive like, so little beam. Productive. I've been a productive little beam. You have, for other reasons. For other reasons. Cannot be disclosed. Cannot be disclosed. But we're going to have a wonderful evening to celebrate lots and lots and lots. Oh. Ali! There she is. Oh, you look lovely. Oh my God, I want Look at her. She always just oh, hello. This is Jamie's vlog, not Megan's vlog. Oh, hello. Lovely. Jamie's vlog. Yeah. Let everyone say hello. Hi, gorgeous. Oh. So, come on. Oh, it feels so festive. <laughs> yeah. Look at us. Look. Do, 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 the start, do, do, Jamie does on this look. Do, do, the start of Vlogmas. Oh, stop it. Have you been, have you been, you've been chatting about Vlogmas? I have. I have. You know, I have. I have. I have. I I'm very excited. I time well today as well. Did you? I did. Look at the lights. I know. Stop it. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. So, it's now a couple of days later, and I'm finally going to show you what I picked up on our little shopping trip. So in the end, I only ended up purchasing things from Poundland and Primark. The stores that I went to weren't big ones. There are definitely bigger ones around, but considering I just wanted to have a little mooch, see what stock was out, because it is only the beginning of November. I need to keep telling myself that. I'm sure I'll be popping into Primark, Poundland, B&M, Home Bargains, the lot, a lot of times this month. But this just gave me a little bit of like a, a little bit of a start in preparation for the main course because I know that it's coming. I hope you guys enjoyed the come shopping with me clips and you got kind of like a gist of what was in store at the moment. This has got me so very excited for all of the Christmas hauls, all of the Christmas come shop with me's and vlogmas. I just I cannot wait for vlogmas. It's probably my favorite time of year, my favorite kind of videos to film because everything is just like Christmas, deck the halls, ho ho ho, fa la la la. So we're gonna get right on into the Primark bag. Should we go Poundland? Should we go Primark? Let's go Primark first. The first thing that I picked up is this roll of wrapping paper. It is eight meters and it's made using recycled paper and it was one pound. I'm sorry, Primark is coming through with the festive Christmassy products this year. They had so much on display and the Primark that I went to was very, very small. They had a very small home section. So I was actually pretty impressed with the stock that they had. I really want to go to the big one on Oxford Street. Yeah, I just thought eight meters for a quid? Are you kidding me? Yes, this might not be the most thickest paper. It might not have the guidelines on the back. This may just be brown paper with gorgeous little green Christmas trees on it. But I thought this would be really nice wrapping paper for those smaller gifts, um, for those gifts which are maybe a bit more difficult to wrap and you don't want to waste really nice wrapping on them, or just stocking fillers. I really like the design and they've got lots of other designs in there. So head over to Primark. I picked up, actually this was the last thing that I picked up. So again, I didn't really pick up much, are these two little rolls of ribbon. So I got two of them. So this is called a ribbon set. There's 12 meters across the four and this is two pounds. Two pounds for 12 meters. I'm still gagged at the prices of Primark Christmas bits. How blimmin' cute. I am all for those earthy tones. I mean, if you guys looked around my apartment, then everything is very browns, whites, greens. I love it. Me and my partner absolutely love those earthy tones. They just go all year round and especially now kind of like this is quite a quite a popular theme this year like with the browns, the greens. How cute. So that is the close-up of the four ribbon set. So you've got two of the 
kind of brown hessian ribbons one of them is oh I, I love it i love it so much so one of them has little green stars and then the other hessian one down there says merry christmas i love these and then you've got the thicker green one with squiggles and then you've got the really festive christmasy one in the middle there with the christmas trees and the little red i'm gonna call them berries red berries then we're moving over to poundland poundland is an incredible place but it's also one of those places that kind of triggers me because not everything is a pound in there. I'm like, I'll go up to something and I'll be like, oh my God, I absolutely love that. And then I'll look at the price and I'll be like, oh, it's actually four quid. Like, no, pound land, no. Go back to being a pound for everything. A pound 50 at max. I picked up a garland. So this year, and I'm sure you'll see in Vlogmas, in that I'm actually going to be hosting, well, Liam and I are going to be hosting two different Christmas dinners and kind of Christmas evening parties, get togethers with both of our families. So one weekend, my family's going to come up and then one weekend Liam's family come is going to come up we would have them both I would happily feed the 5,000 in my flat I absolutely love to host but unfortunately our flat just doesn't cater to that many people I thought this would be absolutely cute just to decorate the house in a few like really festive Christmassy bits I then picked up one of these now I've heard that the closer you get to Christmas wreath hangers are incredibly hard to find we haven't actually bought our wreath yet we're trying to find the perfect one I did buy this wreath hanger it was one pound they do it in gold and they do it in silver as well. It's this really nice matte bronzed gold. I, I think it's just gorgeous. So yeah, I picked that up for a pound. And then finally, so like I said, this wasn't a huge haul because there wasn't absolutely loads. I'm trying not to overbuy now because I, I keep building things up and I just need to put it all out. And then I can kind of go in with a fresh mind being like, oh, I want to pick that up. I want to pick that up. So stay tuned for my Christmas decorate with me. I absolutely cannot wait. This was pound fifty, So it's 50p extra, but I just, I couldn't say no. I personally don't understand the hype around gonks, but then I saw this and I was like, okay, now I do. Now I do and it is this sorry it is this beautiful baby gonk how cute this one i decided to go for in the end because it just it went with our color scheme so perfectly and he's just the most welcome festive addition into our house ever i absolutely love him so they do these really diddy ones these are a pound 50 and i believe the ones above this are three pounds and then the big ones are eight pounds so again pretty good price considering considering what they are. I was actually looking in the range the other day and the range was selling them for like 10 pounds plus. So the fact that this is one pound 50, and if you're in a small apartment or if you're just decorating a bedroom, then these small accessories, which are really, really affordable, they go a long way in kind of transforming your room for the festive period. I can't wait to put him out. He'll be the first thing that I put out. I'll leave him here for the for the rest of the video drinking my tea. That is everything in my Poundland and Primark haul. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and today's haul and today's Come Shopping With Me vlog. If you guys did enjoy it, then don't forget to smash the like button and of course, subscribe down below for more Jamie Dear and more festive content because guys, uh, now November is officially in force. I'm just like, yes, bring on Santa Claus. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching. Mwah. Thank you.